One thing that we use quite commonly in software development is predefined status strings, which actually map quite nicely to TypeScript string unions. For example, when we use Stripe, which is a very popular payment provider, the subscription status string can only contain a limited set of predefined values. And similarly with Paddle, which is the payment provider that we use with Boolean art, the subscription status can only contain one of the specific allowed values. However, the Drizzle core data types match what you find in the underlying databases, which is mostly wildcard unchecked strings. So the question is, how can we move from unsafe strings to safe predefined string unions? Let's answer this together. The simplest approach is often the first solution that I go for. And the simplest approach in this particular case would be to leave it as a text string. And then we mark the original type as unsafe. Unsafe in this context means that the status field is going to accept any wild string and we would want an additional type layer on top that would make that particular field safe from human error. And we can do that quite easily by omitting the existing status field and then adding our own custom status field with the string union that we want. So in the table item unsafe, we have the status as string, whereas in the table item, the status is going to be overwritten to be of type pedal subscription status. Now this solution, while functional, is going to suffer from a number of issues. Can you think of what those issues might be? Fundamentally, the types that are going to be flowing within the Drizzle API are going to be separated from the types that we will be maintaining ourselves. As an example, whenever we use a query or any other API within Drizzle to load items from the table, we would be left with unsafe values and we would need to massage them into their safe versions, which we can do quite easily with a simple controlled type assertion. However, as you can imagine, this situation is not ideal. The next obvious solution that comes to mind is what if we can modify text to not be inferred as a string. What you essentially end up doing here is creating a custom column and this is exactly where the Drizzle documentation leads you. In fact, when you look for defining custom types within Drizzle, you end up on the section which guides you on defining custom columns. So for our use case in Boolean art, we ended up defining a custom column type where the data will be of type parallel subscription status. So it is one of the predefined values. However, the underlying data type within a Postgres is still going to be text. Now, the final thing that we have to do is simply replace the status column, which is currently of type text to instead use the new column type that we just defined. Now for the moment of truth, let's see if the inferred result for the table members has changed. You can see that status is no longer of type string and instead uses the string union, which is exactly what we wanted. I'll wrap things there, smash that like and subscribe for more real world tips and tricks. Check out Boolean art to level up your JavaScript, TypeScript and React skills and I will see you in the next one.